everybody, and welcome to Rise of the Podcast. I'm Jeremy. I'm Kara. I'm sitting in the corner, and I'm Brownie. Woohoo! Someday, we will get to meet Chris. But today is not that day. You better bring 50 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> but we are going to do, like, guess kind of a, a year in review. You know, it's the end of the season. The holidays are around, and it's been really mm-hmm. fun. We've been, um, we're at a Christmas party today, and we had some fun food and snacks and treats and everything. But before we started this episode, we watched our We very started a podcast. <laughs> <show>. <laughs> it's cringy. Oh, Ooh. yep. We've come a long way. That's for sure. Like I feel like what what we were saying, it was almost like it was completely all scripted. But it was well, it really it, wasn't. It, it wasn't, but it felt that way we had with to how out our like pacing. This is what we're doing. <laughs> I'm I Jeremy. At, I would look at I'm Kara. Kara. Like, so Kara. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you think? And then Kara looks at me, she's like, I like this video. <laughs> So it was uh, fun to see that. The music, Chris is like, no, get the music out of there. I had the right, I had the right intro music with the wrong outro music. Yeah. So the intro stayed the, the same then. Yeah, we, we've, we've, had the same, we've had the same intro music, except for the podcast, because I I can't remember what it was, like podcast something, like right. 16 or 17. I decided to use different music just for the podcast for the intro, but the mm-hmm. outro music, I think... With the second video, I think we got that in there, but... Yeah, mm-hmm. and it creates that... Um, sense that the video is ending and it just really works. I've always really enjoyed that. Yeah. But it's been people are like, finally, this thing is over. Ooh. Ooh. Took you guys long enough. They just Half scrub hour until they long. see the music. <laughs> <laughs> they wrote a bot that you can a Chrome extension, so it just jumps to the end of the video. <laughs> as long as we get credit for the view to view time. <laughs> yeah. As long as they watch thirty seconds. But uh, uh, I have matching Christmas socks with my shirt today, Chris. Are they Darth Vader? They are. Yep, and my shirt says Merry Sithmas. <laughs> like well Jeremy done. said, well, we were at the Christmas party. Where's your party. sweater? I didn't wear it. I wanted to look classy today at the Christmas party. Mistake. Yep. <laughs> I know. And everybody liked my sweater, so that's always nice. I did. But, okay, so we've 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 done a year of it. So, okay. Oh, so speaking of a year, do you remember what you said? I think it was in the second episode. Which, what did I say? Something about a year. What was this year? Oh. The year of Star Wars. So how did it, how did the year of Star Wars pan out for you guys? To me, it has been a year of Star Wars, yeah. and we're still coming down the like the high mm-hmm. uh, from seeing you know the rise of Skywalker. And right. I know the, I, Kara said the internet seems split right down the middle. Mm-hmm. It literally is about fifty fifty. Well, and the sad thing is the the. the angry I hate this movie fifty are the louder of the groups. Yeah, in my opinion, and the. The people who go on and say, I like The Rise of Skywalker, um, they get just lambasted by the haters. Like, ah, you don't know what a real good Star Wars movie is. Rah, shut up. Yeah. I and don't it's know. like, okay, be nice. Seriously. Be like, follow the golden rule. It, yeah. it's, even if I don't, don't like something, I, I've, I've never been in the disposition to just like try and shout other people down. Because like, the, right. the, there's a phrase that goes, there's no accounting for taste. Right. right? So just because you and somebody else like something different doesn't mean that one of you is right or one of you is wrong. Like right. movies are objectively subjective. Yes. Right. Right. It's like you, you, there's there's no quantizing what makes a good or a bad movie. If there was a if there was a literal formula for making a successful film, Hollywood would be doing it right now. Exactly. Absolutely. And they turn out a lot of bad movies. Ooh. Of course they do. You know. So like even movies that are supposed to be huge hit blockbusters, you know they there. I think there's been. Like four or five that have absolutely flopped this year. Oh, yeah, it's supposed to be huge. Well, it's like anything, things like Waterworld or something, where it was like the most expensive movie ever made and it did nothing, or like it just there's if if there was actually like a like a structure, a scientific like if you check all these boxes, you'll make a billion dollars. But there's not. Right. So mm-hmm. if you don't like it, that's fine. Say you don't like it, but don't say that somebody's wrong for right. liking exactly. it. Exactly. Be nice. That's you know, nice. that'd be like if I went on and any time anybody posted anything about cauliflower, I called them an idiot. Ah. <laughs> so 
Even that's I mean, more justifiable. People, no, I'm just kidding. People who like Brussels sprouts, I'm telling oh, you, they're, they're the worst. special breed. They're the worst. Yeah, just unsubscribe now. This is an anti Brussels sprouts channel. <laughs> that's our second shirt. I want you to put a picture of a Brussels sprout with the no, no I don't want sign to over it. <laughs> oh, that's easy. See, that's what I'm saying. No, I thought you were going to put it over my face. Oh, not over your face. Just like so that right became here. a trend this year. But okay, you, you asked about the year of Star Wars. Now we have a ton of stuff to talk about. Well, okay, so like even next year, I think it's going to be the, the year, another year of Star Wars. No movie, but we're still going to be getting Kenobi. We're going to be getting the next season of Clone Wars. Mandalorian. And the fo- next season of Mandalorian. So, uh, so yeah. Okay, so Disney Plus has come out this year. Mm-hmm. We got to see the Mandalorian. We have a bunch of new Star Wars content to look out for. Mm-hmm. There is some awesome, awesome Star Wars Lego sets. Uh, Galaxy's Edge open this year. Yes. There is a Oh, ton man, that's a video that we stuff. haven't finished. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my god, That's like it, though. That's it for you, right? That's no, like, I've got all those games left. Oh, well, those those are... Games are fairly uh, easy, aren't they? Yeah, well, they're they're intense. They're graphic intensive. Mm. Oh, yeah, I suppose. So like, they still take a bit of time, but they're a thousand times faster than the Lego things. Like, literally, I'll go home You've tonight. You've been crushing the Legos lately. I, I, I'm going to spend four hours with my computer incapable of doing anything else because I'm exporting um, <laughs> all the different time lapse sequences so I can actually edit with them. <laughs> right. Ugh, like the ADD. This is just me. None of this is going to matter to anybody, but I just need to complain for a second. The ADD really screwed us on the last time lapse, the oh live stream gosh. time lapse. Yeah. Yes. So, like, uh, I have to manually synchronize the time lapse. There's no pluralize for time lapses. Right. And uh, because I kept on stopping and starting and everything, instead of having like three angles on it or whatever, it's it's like seven different little pieces that I have to sort of line up. So, it's mm. like the, the debate in my mind is like, do I just say, Go away and throw it out, but it's like they're good angles, right? right. You know, so and did we like, ever figure out what happened with the SD card on the? You know, yeah, the, okay, so okay, my mom yes. asked me about this today. The ADD was having just a weird connection between the lens and the camera body, mm-hmm. so that was what was nuking those time lapses. Yep. The the EOS R, just Canon's bad video compression is literally what it. Yep. If you're to. if you're if you're doing 4K all eye on the EOS R, four gigs it's a four, minute. 480 megabits per second. Holy dang. So it's, it's about five gigs a minute. Five gigs a minute. That it generates. Whereas wow. this, the main camera right here, it does about one gig per minute in 4K. So once you Unco- switch- Uncropped. Uncropped. <laughs> so once you switched to the SD card, did it fix itself? No, I switched to 1080 because I knew oh. that 1080 wasn't going to brick the card. Right. So like in, in the back of my mind, I thought maybe it'd be a comp- the compression thing, but I thought... By now, because the, the, the reason that, oh, so our main angle, I'm shooting on a Sony a7R II. Mm-hmm. And the reason I bought a Sony a7R II instead of the Canon 5D Mark IV was because the a7R II, the bit rate <laughs> is 100 megabits per second in 4K. Right. Whereas if you shoot all eye versus IPB, which is the whole other thing, can of worms, but the bit rate, it was like, it's like we would, we would have 500 terabytes of data right now. Yeah, if we shot it all on If we shot, day, yeah. Sorry. Oh my gosh. It's, anyway, so it's just one of those things where like they're very, they're at a comparable price point um, and they had a lot of very similar features. This had way more megapixels for the still shooting that I do mm-hmm. and I can shoot 4K and not have to buy a new computer every five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, so that's been fun. Okay. Um, that's another thing that's been fun too is over the, like up until we started the podcast, I was really only a photo guy. And we'd mm-hmm. done videos together. But again, I hadn't been editing videos since mini DV tapes days. So it's <laughs> like I've been getting more into doing filming. We've been doing oh. some fun. Speaking of old videos, I might have an in on finding said old videos. <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. Every yeah, we'll see how good one. your source is. <laughs> we will you know see. who you are. I guarantee you I know who it is. And I'm... Questioning, and we're gonna go murder them tomorrow. <laughs> I'm questioning said person. It's guarantee it's David. I can't tell you anything. It is David because the only other person I would like edit those videos with would be David. I remember and the three of us on your old like Ma- was it even a MacBook then? It was a it was a Mac laptop of yeah, some type. Yeah, and we'd all huddle around it with its like four kilobytes of RAM. Yes, <laughs> he's a, thinks he's so smart. Hmm. Or are you talking about Janae? Janae might have them burned on a DV, DVD, but I don't. I doubt she's gonna be able to reproduce that. I'll hmm. find out. 
If it's your mom, we'll just have to bribe her. We need to hire some Mandalorians to track down the footage yeah. and delete them. <laughs> I think those are called private investigators. <laughs> <laughs> Mandalorians not, are so much cooler. No, I was gonna say, not the universe that's in my brain. Yeah. Um, but so if we look at the, like, back throughout the year, uh, we started with the podcast and making that video. And we did a Lego video. We did the um, no, the mystery autograph. That was the, So that was the second video we ever did. I, I think we need to do another video. one. That was fun. Like, we, like we can, the, and those videos are easy to do, right? You know, and they're fun and and everything. But yeah, it was just something we didn't really get around to doing, just like a regular type of unboxing. Um, but that was what was funny about the first video is all the promises we made. We kept some of them, <laughs> <laughs> like one of them. Well, but. I was like, we we were doing so, like we're doing the podcast. Yep. That's a, that's a thing. The Lego videos, I think, are far beyond anything that people would have expected us to be able to do. Yep. It's true. Um, like, we've done convention stuff. Totally have. Legit. Um, DuluCon and GalaxyCon. Yep. And, and the convention tips video. Yep. Um, 3D we're like, printing, we're lacking. Yeah. So it's, it's cosplay. It's, yeah. So the, the things that I'm not involved with. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just point. say Chris is keeping us on track. <laughs> He's got I'm just point. giving you some crap. Oh, like, it's like, we're, like we're already basically at capacity for what, like, we're, what we're capable of doing. So it's about dividing our resources the appropriate way to be able to hit right. all of these things. The things that I have been working uh, happy about is the, the website might not be being updated like it should be, but Facebook is catching up. Yeah. And I think with the right workflow, I can get Instagram up to a decent point and get the website going. Are you uh, are you keeping up on the audio podcast? I have been. Yep. Okay. I totally have been doing that. And those are fun and... Um, you know, if you're listening to this, I'm pointing at the camera. <laughs> if you're listening to this through, you know, um, come over and check us out on YouTube. Yeah. It's kind of fun. I like. Or if you that. watch us on YouTube, but only somewhat regularly and you do enjoy podcasts, we are available on any place you could possibly find a podcast. Yeah. yeah. So is, feel free to cool. listen to us on there. We don't get any, we don't get any money no matter what you do. So <laughs> 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 enjoy this however you feel like. Uh, do exactly that. Um, but so yeah, so we so we like cool videos. We did the mystery autograph. We've done Lego builds. We've done some games, and we've kept guests on. We have yep. done guests. I'd yeah. like more. We have a guest coming on next week. We'll let oh, them. so I wanted to talk to you about this. And I don't know if you're gonna be if he's watching right now, but uh, Matt Rasmussen, the guy that's in the Ghostbusters North that I work yes, with and everything, yes. he said he'd be super interested in coming on. And I and figured we yeah, could talk sure. about because the Ghostbusters 2020 trailer just dropped. Yes. So we can talk a little bit about that and then like his experience. Like he he's into all the super cool things that everybody likes. That's sweet. So uh, speaking of guests, did you hear what your cousin Kara said? No. What was that? She knows somebody who ha who has worked on the Mandalorian TV show hmm. and said she, he she would love to come on the show, but he can't like spoil anything. So I was like. That's fine. Here's Just tell us how how we can get our own baby Yoda. That's yeah. <laughs> but I was like, oh, here's the thing. Like, season one's out. Come on and talk about season one. Right? Yeah, like as of this coming Friday, that'll be the last episode of the uh -huh. season. Oh, I'm so excited for that. So oh, do they have a release day for season two or no? I don't it'll, think so I'm yet. guessing it'll probably be a year. No, like they might. Next be, fall. They could come out soon. You think so? That. Maybe. Typically TV shows are a year. Unless you're Game of Thrones, then it's two years. Right. Oh, well, or for more. the last season. Oh, lordy. Um, so, yeah, no, it, it, like we delivered a lot of the things that we were going to say that we were going to do. I, I think for an operation that literally just comes out of pocket in our own personal time and effort. Right. We've done pretty well. I agree. I agree. It's been fun. And, you know, it's, it's been cool to see the channel grow. It's been awesome to see Facebook grow. Uh, the support that we've had from people I would have never like, I don't know, just it's we've had support all over the place mm -hmm. to yeah. be able to do this. That is one thing I wanted to say. Hmm. We started with just the three of us, but realistically, yeah. there's a lot of people involved that make this production happen. Yeah, actually, so I was going to talk to you about this, and I don't know if I want to talk about it on the podcast. No, but, but no, it's just crazy. There's, um, um, in regards to the person who's helping us with the social media stuff or whatever, do we yeah. want to like make him like a full-on team member? Or? I, I, I would assume I so. so. So I think that'd be probably the right thing to do. So I think so, too. We'll talk about that. Yeah. We'll talk about that. Um, because, and, but in, and so there's, there's that person and then like people have I think come they up, all know who we're talking about. I know. About. It's yeah. obviously, uh, Steve. Yes. I was <laughs> trying to think of any name 
But, but, think but uh, <laughs> it's obviously uh, I didn't say the name. Um, <laughs> but uh, no, but like one of my coworkers, they donated a, like a Lego set to us for her to build. Mm -hmm. um, my mom's giving us a Lego set. <laughs> that time lapse just finally got done. I know, I know. <laughs> I can't wait to tell him. Be like, hey, this is gonna come out soon. You know, it's um, hilarious. So BRD eleven. Yes, we shouted him out a couple of times before. The very first time we shouted him out was gonna be like the last video, video that, that we put out. I know, <laughs> which is so it's so funny. Um, oh, and then so we got a comment. From from um, Daniela, mm -hmm. and I just want to give a shout out to her. It was, was, she was at the same showing as we were. Yeah, yeah. Um, we ran into her at Dulu. I'm surprised I didn't see her there. Yeah, I know. I, 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 I like if she was there, I wish she would have come over and said hello. Yeah, to us. next time if you see us, come on, say yeah. hello. But yeah, you did at Dulu Con. So. I was gonna yeah. say at Dulu Con though, I was a Soka, so it's kind of unrecognizable as Soka. Well, you're unrecognizable as in everybody knows that you're a Soka. <laughs> Could you imagine going up to a different Ahsoka and being like, hey, Kara? <laughs> okay, I'm probably the tallest Ahsoka that's out there right now. Probably. Just saying. Would you guys agree? I'm, All I have no idea. All the Ahsokas on the Ahsoka cosplay group are little tiny short girls. Well, I would say that, like, you know, just women on average are shorter than you. Right. So I would say that it's a safe bet saying that. So what do they I'm put in the water average. up here? What do they put in the water up here? That's yeah. Sure. Growth pills. Oh, gosh. My mom always said she gave me Miracle Girl. Uh, <laughs> but, that's like, such a mom joke to right? say, Seriously. too. Seriously. Like, there, there are legit mom jokes, and that's one of them. Uh. Um, and then your mom has, like, definitely messaged us and talked about, like, giving us feedback and relevant stuff. And she was a huge fan of the live stream of uh, Vader, Vader Immortal. Immortal. Like I said, I need, I owe it to her to live stream the other two for her so she can watch them. I, uh, I was actually talking to my mom yesterday on the phone or whatever. And uh, cause my, my mom actually has appeared on my sister's YouTube channel. Oh, oh really? fun. Um, they did a couple of holiday things, whatever. So it's stuff lab. You can go check it out if you want to. It's completely different than this. Right. But she just does like random fun things or whatever. But right. so they were doing, um, uh, they were like taste testing different, uh, instant hot chocolate oh, fun. and like ranking them or whatever, which is like, whatever. But so I was talking to her. I was like, oh, so like you go on Gwen's channel, you want to come out of mine? And she's like, I don't understand what you guys are talking about. I was like, I understand what hot chocolate is. I don't understand what you guys are doing. You can talk about whatever you want. I was like, I try to. And she's like, and like she does, like she starts watching the videos, and then she's like, because she's just, right. you know. By, yeah. So, but <laughs> which is completely fair. Like, this is like, this is content for people that have similar interests. Right. So, but yeah, it's just, it's funny to me. She's like, she'll check stuff out. Like she really likes the time-lapse videos a lot. They're awesome. They're, I think, I think that is a favorite of the subs so far. Yeah. I think. So we have um, a lot more coming. Literally, we think... literally, literally doubled the library in the last week. <laughs> yes. They're just following our release schedule. So uh, speaking of time-lapses, so they came out with a friend's. Lego set. I saw that, and I, Keith is a huge Friends fan. So is my best friend, Mimi. You know Mimi. Yes. And so I told her, I was like, girl, you should come on. We'll do, I'll build, and she can just, or she can help, obviously, but like, she was like, I can, I can do funny Friends quotes and facts about <coughs> Friends and all sorts of stuff. And I was like, see? That'd be fun. It'd be fun. She'd love it. It'd be oh. cool to find a way to integrate some sort of like trivia challenge into the build because oh, yeah. it doesn't seem it's 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 the set of central perk yeah you know so it's not like a super like it's it's still like 1500 pieces or something How it's about pretty this? big but this is this i think this would be a little fun kind of turn it into a game lego build i know you kind of touched on that but it's a trivia for every question she gets right i can do one step oh dang Every question she gets wrong, like you take away like two pieces. You take oh. So then I have to try to do the build without those pieces. I like that. Oh, crazy. Now you're, that could go really well or really bad. Or yep. if she gets a bonus question, I get the pieces back or whatever. You know what my you know? own mother said mm -hmm. to me today? My own you're, mother. You're adopted. No, I wish. I'd be better <laughs> than hearing these words come out of her mouth. She said, Kara is better at building Legos. It is true. She heard That's it. That's a science fact, Jerry. <laughs> no, my own mother should not admit to that. They're <laughs> blind to science when it comes to their children. Uh, no, your mom seems like she's pretty much attuned. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, Jeremy she Kara is better at Legos than you. I'm like, what are you talking about? It's quantifiably better. Oh, man. You just got to upgrade your game. <sighs> Actually, don't, because then we won't be able to cut away to anything. I know, right? We need to... I, I... I got hurt in the Harley build. Yeah, literally. Yeah. It was really funny. So, bloody. 
in one of the B-rolls, there's a close-up of his thumb, and Annie was like, oh, it's Jeremy's bludgeoned thumb. <laughs> 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 yep. Oh, poor Jer Bear. His poor little thumb. He is just all oh, just destroyed. <laughs> um, all right. So, okay. <laughs> so anything else we want to reminisce about? Well, so like, just like, like, how do you feel about like, like, cause obviously when we first were getting into this or whatever, I kind of had an idea of what we might be able to do. And like, when we've exceeded even what I thought, but like, where did you guys think that we were going to get throughout the course of this year? I thought we'd have about probably 20 videos made. You know, and I, I don't you know how many know. videos we have right now. 60 some, isn't it? Over six. I know it's over 60. 66. It's over 70. It's yeah. over 70. Yeah. We have, we have, I think 68 or 69 public videos okay. right now. Crazy. Dang. So. See, like I, when I know when we first started, I would always write down what we were going to talk about on the whiteboard. And so I, I figured that's just what we would continue doing. And now it's just like, we just kind of talk about whatever. I think it's this better when it's up. conversation I because do. it's not people sitting here like lecturing you with things right. or whatever. And I'm not staring at we're not staring at the whiteboard like, oh, what's the next topic? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um I the the growth has been more exceed my expectations. So that's really cool. Because it was it, it just felt slow and then it's mm -hmm. like ramped up, which is yeah. really cool. So I'm like, You should sit up a little bit more. So I'm just, I just I, looked at your, at your I, angle. I started and it was like, since we started. Jeremy Jeremy's a slouch. He like okay. if he could the chair would just you're absorb like, him. It looked like you were melting I, into your chair. You're I'm, on only like the bottom third. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I'm afraid but. to even admit this to you because you're gonna use it against me. But the, anything you've ever said we've used against you in the court of YouTube. <laughs> we um <laughs> were out for dinner last night at Wasabi, very fun sushi place in Duluth. I mm -hmm. highly recommend it. Uh, I got like three or four different plates of masab wasab or not masabi. Uh, so, <laughs> masabi sushi. Masabi is the name of a road in Duluth, so yes. that's not him just being <laughs> completely ridiculous. It's an actual word you have to say sometimes. And it, yeah, and it's not that far away from where this restaurant is too. Yeah. So we were sitting there eating, and they brought up they had just did Twenty Three and Me, and I've I've been on Twenty Three and Me. You got a ringtone from Twenty Three and Me. Yeah, they take your DNA and they make you a unique ringtone. I there don't have enough a, DNA for Twenty Three and Me. I <gasps> tried it twice, and they were like. Well, you failed it a second time. Less than 2% of people fail a second time. She doesn't so, have enough protein in her saliva because you spit into a cup and then you send it to them and they analyze it. You got to start taking that creatine to get those gains. Seriously. <laughs> so, so here's what's funny, okay? Um, the person we were out to eat with, they pulled up their Neanderthal composition and mm -hmm. we're talking about how this much Neanderthal lot, you Chris. are. I'm, I can't even believe I'm saying it. <laughs> if you so, don't, I will. Josh had... 200 i i, I sorry we can bleep some. it out if i don't know it's not he had mid 200s okay i, well, I don't know what the context variants is, of so. neanderthal like um traits of a neanderthal like present in your dna okay and so he, and think Mimi i don't know I, I don't know if t i don't know if it was 200 high or low so here's so based off of that he was in the 60th percentile so, so like average ish about average ish mm -hmm. so i pulled mine up and i have 309 or 310 Neanderthal traits. It was, I thought it was three hundred and sixty some or something. No, like no that. it's not over three. It's not over three. If it is, it's three twenty. Okay. But it put me in the ninety four percentile. I have ninety four percent more Neanderthal than the average person. Jeremy, not build Legos good. No, no, I know. I thought. Well, it's like I crouch forward with my posture. <laughs> oh, they do a carousel too. She goes, yeah, and you chew with your mouth open. I was like, oh, you do damn. though. Is a problem. Right, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, and so then one. Of the, no one's ever told me until I is, told you before. In and two and a half years, how oh, well, well, way longer than four and a half. Thank you. In four and a half years, <laughs> Jeremy I, not remember numbers. He doesn't remember things <laughs> wife says either because I have told him, and he's like, you can't breathe very well when you chew with your mouth oh. closed. And I'm like, what's wrong with your nose? I have fat cheeks and I bite. Them. So I gotta open it up. Yeah, no, get... I, I understand that. I have permanent scars on the inside where my my lips you know are from called? biting them. No, Linea Alba. Is it's it related natural... to Jessica Alba? <laughs> Everybody's got it. Oh, it's okay. where your teeth connect on your cheeks, so there's going to be a white line permanently right there. Huh. Some some people it's just more pronounced than others. But I mean, like you bite your cheeks, right? Yeah, a lot. I do too. And so my dad like, does too. Opening, so, okay. chew my with dad your mouth does open. too. Do you know what he doesn't do? Chew with his mouth open. Uh, but I, he I'll, suffers in silently. De in, in defense <laughs> of chewing with your mouth open, it is a cultural trait. Some cultures encourage chewing with your mouth open because it aerates your food and gives it more flavor. Oh yeah, um, it's like a does blood. America, it's like is, is America that tan, culture? Tannins in <laughs> no. the wine. You gotta yes. let it breathe. No. <laughs> okay, and so that goes hand in hand with though. 
23 Me also tells you whether you are okay with or you severely dislike listening to people chewing. Oh. You, based off your DNA. I cannot stand it. So it's Jeremy sitting there. <laughs> oh, I don't like that. <laughs> Headphones off. <laughs> That's going to be an ASMR experience. (laughs) I can't handle it, so I'm just like, shut your mouth! Just stop! I never knew she hated my chewing until, like... Well, she didn't divorce you, so it's okay. (laughs) Oh, man. Oh, my God. It's just giving giving 2020 edition Jeremy something to work on. (laughs) So I can't, I can't believe I'm that much of a Neanderthal. I should, I should Any snores. text my mom and, uh, cause I never check. She, has she done it? Well, we've done, we did Ancestry, but that gives you the same type Got of it. breakdown. I so. want to do Ancestry just to see if they're like, oh, we're better. We can process your lack of DNA. Well, so like the cool thing with that is cause Ancestry also does like all sorts of other genealogy stuff or whatever. Right. And you can choose whether or not you want to participate in this part or not, but yep. like. It makes it a lot easier to actually start like really like nailing down family. these different Your family, family trees and yeah. stuff. So like and, like it's a foregone conclusion. No spoilers here. My parents are my parents. Like I don't know if you've heard those horror stories or like oh, took a DNA test and my dad's not actually my dad. Yeah, yeah, right. Or whatever. Um and uh, it's never that's never my mom's not my mom. That's never once happened because it's right. kind of hard to fake that. <laughs> right, right. Have you okay, just a little tangent. Have you seen the I can't believe the person said that? Have you seen any of those types of like threads on Reddit or anything? I uh, no. One of well, I, I was reading an article and one of the things that somebody said was, Why don't women ever have to take a DNA test to prove the baby is theirs? <laughs> <laughs> Because I shoved it out of myself. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. That person has just never seen how a baby. Right. Yeah. yeah. They definitely they just, miss the birds and the bees talk. <laughs> they they don't know how that works. Okay. But, yeah. So Carrie, Car- 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 explain the birds. And the- no, I was kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, we are. I already forgot what I said. Oh, your, your, your uh, mom did one, and then you're definitely your kid. Oh yeah, you know. So it's like there, there wasn't like a huge benefit to doing it, other than just to see like what type of things I had inherited or whatever. Right. Are you part of Genghis Khan's family line? Oh yeah. I am not. Ah, the Jeremy not cool enough to be Kong. Right. Or Khan. <laughs> um, but no, and then when my mom found out the percentage of Nath- Neanderthal, she goes, that explains your father. And I was like, oh. Has your mom done one of these or no? No, she wants to now, though. What if that be the twist? She's like got the highest Neanderthal the, midichlorian yeah, count ever. Right. Midichlorian count. <laughs> hey, hey, that'd be like 94% Jedi. I'd be like Obi-Wan. I'd be Yoda. <laughs> no, his metachlorians are off the chart. Yeah. His Neanderthals are off the chart. Oh, my Lanta. So actually, so quick Star Wars theory thing. I, when they were talking about midichlorian count, I, I'm going to go back to the argument that I think the Palpatine is the strongest force user that, there, that there has been. Right. Mm-hmm. Because they explicitly say no Jedi has had right. a count over 20,000. They So that doesn't account for any of the Sith whatever. Right. So it's like, I st- like people are complaining. It's like, oh, how could Palpatine have survived? Blah, 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 blah. A, I don't really care. You know, it's like, he can survive, whatever. Like, it doesn't, he's there. I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it, too. You know, but it's like, you know, he could have force shield himself. Like, he could transfer his essence or whatever. Like, what? I don't care. But <laughs> well, I definitely think that of anybody that could have survived being thrown down an energy shaft and the Death Star exploding, it would have been him. Right. So. Um, sure. And Luke had enough time to drag Vader to a shuttle. Yeah. And fly off. Yeah, all four. And you got to think, like, he, Darth Vader weighs more than a, just a normal person. Like, dragging you is one thing. Right. Dragging you, that's 70% Robot. space metal. Right. Is the another. Yeah, yeah. You know, even with the force. Right. right. Well, and think about the size of the Death Star. You don't know how far away they were. Yeah, I, I'm going to guess, just based on the way that, like, luxury apartments are laid out, that the throne room is not going to be right next to the parking garage. Exactly. Right. It's going to be a penthouse <laughs> at the very top, like, got to see in, everything. In, in my head, Cannon, the throne room's right next to the giant laser, so you can see it go pew! I know, I agree. <laughs> it, 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 it looks like it's there. Yeah. Well, actually, because you, yeah, you, yeah, you see, see the disc, the yeah, and, and the, I think it is pretty close yeah and yeah, yeah. like movie, i said yeah. it starts the top oh, yeah. i like it when my when things that i imagine are confirmed <laughs> yes um so yeah we had talked about 23 and me and yeah it explains a lot i guess so i really i just i so badly wish so yeah at the dinner they're all all three of them are on their phones looking at their dna results and their family trees and i'm like cool <laughs> <laughs> great i'm glad you guys are having fun i was salty i believe it's <laughs> the clone do you have Apparently. a belly button, Kara? 
<laughs> Nobody will ever find out. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I've got a belly button. Thank you. <laughs> Just like in a jar, like oh, I almost said a spoiler. Yep. That we already just talked about spoilers a lot. I caught we myself. Should just, we should have just put spoiler skip to whatever. <laughs> yeah. Nope. I caught myself. We're good. Um, Kara was just in a cloney tube. That's all I yep. was saying. Like clones from Attack of the Clones. Yeah. yeah. Take that, me of the past. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> so, but over no. So over. It's been a really good year. It's been really it good. Been. Oh, and so okay. So you asked. Okay, so I didn't think we'd have as many videos. No. Um, I didn't. think... It, this is harder than I thought it was going to be. For what it's worth. Yeah. It's a lot of like. Like sometimes, <laughs> sometimes commitment. it's hard giving up my Saturdays. I uh, you know? I truly believe though that it. Um, I like committing when I say I'm going to do something, uh -huh. and for the most part, like we've done that. That's something I'm very proud of. Like, I look back on what we've accomplished, and it's like, mm -hmm. we've consistently released videos as we said we were going to release them. That is a really cool thing to do. Yeah. We have it. The only time that we actually didn't post on time was because of Cell Galaxy's Connection Edge. and Galaxy's Edge. Yeah. We were out there. That was it. Otherwise, we've, yeah, we've been consistent. Now, can't say that about the Lego advent calendar <gasps> or socks. For shame. Did you guys bring those with? <laughs> no, they're at uh. home. But, like, two, two nights ago, we, we got home super late. Last night we got home. So I late. whispered one because I wanted to get it done so bad. But last night with the movie and then, yeah. then coming down and doing the thing, it was just it was too much. Was like, no, last Ugh. night was out out with friends. You and then you do. were responding to YouTube. Stuff. I'm, I will, don't listen to this people that are on YouTube. This is just for Jeremy and Kara. So what you can just do doing? all of them now <laughs> and just release the videos. Oh, that is true. Right. But I was gonna say what you should do would be really funny is that this whole entire section you're just like bleep 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 bleep. You know the, the whole entire. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, make, right? make Star Wars or droid noises or something. Yeah. Right. Chopper noises. Little <laughs> 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 R2, C3PO, you know? Yep. I, yeah, I, I've never actually heard Chopper. So. Oh, he's my text tone. Yeah. I, he's awesome. We'll play him for you sometime. Yeah. Okay. I highly recommend Rebels TV show. Super good. Oh, I, have it, I have it in my queue for stuff to watch. No, so but before... We wrap the wrap the thing up because I can see Jeremy wants to get out of here. I have a story I was going to tell. Oh, okay. But, so tell your story. Okay, are you sure? Yeah, no, yeah. So you tell your okay. story, then I'll say my thing, and then we can wrap it up. I oh. am going to put this as a post, but I want to talk about it because it's that cool. It's okay. So we moved into our new house. You this is kind of, this is kind of a fun, <laughs> um, like holiday. Here, actually, I'll just I'll, I'll adjust this slightly if you if you want to relax a little bit more. We have to choose. You. I'll gonna stay be, here. You're gonna, okay, you're gonna sitting good. up. Okay. We're good. Although I'm afraid that this chair is going to suffer the same fate as the other chair. Not from me moving around and it just I can hear it making noise that it shouldn't make as a chair. I'd laugh if in the middle of a podcast. <laughs> exactly. We haven't had that problem yet. I want you to, if that ever happens, I want you to slow-mo that thing and just <laughs> Jeremy's ass what, uh, You get 24 I'm, frames is I'm, what you get. I'm going to cut to the Death Star exploding. <laughs> <laughs> when I actually, when the legs <laughs> pop out and then. Um, it's like you hit. Ooh, and next week we'll switch out. You're so funny. Funny <laughs> sits down. When's April first? Yeah, kidding. right. <laughs> okay, so uh, we moved into our new house, and my mom had got really excited and sent us a letter, like a welcome, warming house letter. And when we got to our house, there was no mailbox. There was, What's the time frame of this? Last year. Okay. Last September. So about a year and a half ago. About a year, a year and, and a half ago. ago. And so. We, uh, I meet the mailman because I had a couple days off of work to like move in and everything. And I meet the mailman. And I'm like, hey, just so you know, there's this mail back, uh, mail, mailbox on the deck. Can you please put our mail in the mailbox? And this guy goes, he's a nice guy. And he's no longer our mailman. But he said, he killed him. no, <laughs> he goes, first off, remember in the winter, no trail, no mail. So if you don't like <laughs> shovel a path to your mailbox, you don't get your mail. And then he said, uh, I cannot legally submit your mail to that mailbox without it being attached to the house. So I will be holding on to your mail until you get a replacement mailbox. I was like, okay, all right, fine. So I went to Menards that day. I hooked up the mailbox and that was that. I got letters, everything worked, had the mounted mailbox, everything was amazing. But I got it, like, like you know, got a new mailbox. And a new mailbox, this is important. A new mailbox. Mm hmm. He didn't just get mounting hardware. He purchased a mailbox. Uh, yes. yes. And put up the new mailbox. And so my mom was hounding me and hounding me and hounding me. And she's like, did you get your letter? No. Did you get your letter? No. I'm like, 
never got it. Month goes by, no, no letter. Two months go by, no letter. She went to the post office and they said, oh, could have got lost down at the routing center. It's no longer with her, you know, and with them or whatever. And so she was, it was a custom card. She bought at a local coffee shop. So she went back to the coffee shop and she asked to find a card. That card was super popular. It wasn't there anymore. But then the guy said that he had bought one for his girlfriend and that he hadn't written in it yet. So he would bring it back in for her and then she could come and buy it. She went back and then the guy never brought the card in. <laughs> and so then she didn't think she could reproduce the words that she could do anyways. And so it was it was just lost, right? Mm -hmm. So that was, that was a bummer. It was like she really got this card. So um, we got a big snowstorm, a big blizzard, like... The blizzard of the, the decade. Uh, we, we had to come here early to avoid yeah. Yeah. shooting. Thanksgiving uh, weekend. Thanksgiving weekend. And so I'm outside and I had had a, o, Oliver's old dog kennel sitting on the front porch. And we got rid of it this summer and um, like donated it to the reuse it place that we have. So uh, the dog kennel wasn't there. And I was shoveling off the front deck and I hit that old mailbox that was not attached in the front. And I'm like, oh, I can get rid of that thing now. I haven't used it. It was behind the dog kennel all year because that's where the dog kennel was pushed in front of it. So I, um, the dog kennel was gone. So I, hit, I hit it because I was shoveling it, and that's what reminded me of it. So I pull it out of the snow. And I'm like, oh, I wonder if anything's in here. I open it up. The only thing in there is the letter that she sent me. <laughs> Postmarked, like... September 26, 2018. It's 2017. Postmarked, and then because it was in an actual mailbox... Yeah. It was preserved from the weather. It wasn't ruined or anything. But the freaking mailman told me <laughs> would not put mail in that mailbox. And he did. Well, it could have been a substitute mailman. Too. You know, and it could, it could have been like, he's like, oh, why is this mail not getting delivered? I'll go ahead and deliver it. And he looks, no mailbox. Oh, I'll put it in on the deck or whatever. And so that mailbox, that letter that my mom had been looking for and for wanted us to get really bad had been right there for over a year. <laughs> and it did finally make its way back to us. And this is normally the stuff you see in like a Hallmark movie or something. Mm -hmm. So that night I took pictures of the whole thing and the whole process. So we have the letter, we have the envelope, but I'm going to put a post about it on Facebook. It's it's, the only difference between this and a Hallmark movie is your mom didn't die of some tragic accident. That's accident. what she it said! It's like if she'd have gone on a cruise and gone missing, or no, she went on an adventure to go and track down the, the guy letter, to get a right. copy of the thing so she could send it again. And then like she, she has a, a car accident or something. Yeah, and then like, yeah, in the middle of nowhere. And you're like, oh, we never did find out whatever happened to Annie. And then you find the thing and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> so I just I, and then I, you find true love along the way. <laughs> yeah, the Kara sees me crying and comes and comforts me. And then and I she's start, like, "Jeremy, go find true love." <laughs> yeah, chew with your mouth shut if you want her to love you. <laughs> Jeremy never find true love. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Jeremy. So just a fun, just a fun like true story. Uh, I'll have the pictures and everything, and just kind of really fun, kind of wholesome. Fun story. Yeah. Applicable to the time of year. So. Yeah. So that's what I have. That was my story. All right. I like it. Kind of fun. So did you have something you wanted to take us out with? What, well, so um, so we're coming up on like the New Year thing, so we're going to have a guest on next week. Yep. And we're probably not going to be focused on the idea of the podcast coming out a couple days before New Year's Eve or whatever. So. Right. Uh, what I thought would be kind of cool is like, do we have any like podcast resolutions we want to do for 2020? Ooh. Dang. And I'm going to hold you to these ones. Not like that other video we watched where it was really cringy and we lied all over the place. Like So opposite of the first video. So we made promises <laughs> in the first video. We can make promises for 2020. Oh, can we man. say what they are next week? Because it's hard to come up with them on the spot. <laughs> nope, go now. Because like just think it's like of things that we've done. It's like I'm gonna what, grow a mustache. You're gonna grow a mustache. Oh, that resolution does not happen. Gonna, I mean, I'm gonna take gonna super hit you with glue the and then at the end put, of the night. I'm gonna take super glue, put it on the beard, and then put duct tape over that. So, <laughs> oh, poor, poor. Where's your mustache? Oh, you don't grow one. You just no, it beard. doesn't. It doesn't grow in very good. Got it. So like, For some reason, did you trim your beard recently? Mm, no. Oh, it looks nice. I showered today. <laughs> no, it, just, it looks nice. I don't know. So, I was, Chris is going to grow a mustache. I, <laughs> I'd allow that. If, I, allow that. if I grew a mustache, you wouldn't be able to tell. It literally, it comes in straight blonde, and it's like really thin, and it's it's like more like like head, head, head hair, hair than like beard. Weird. So it's like so it's like it's it's really blonde and soft, and like and it doesn't whatever this part of your face is under the nose. Oh, what is that called? The um, it nothing grows in there. So it's like it's like the um. 
uh, Wesley from the, from the Princess Bride. Oh, yeah. It, yeah that's yeah. what it looks like. Oh, oh he's, he's got a nice mustache. But, like, but except extremely blonde, so it's like you can't see it until it's like five years old. So, so we're going to buy Chris a mustache toupee. <laughs> <laughs> so, one of the things that Kara wanted to do was always wear a different pin. And do a shout out at the end of the video, and you do haven't that. done those for a, a mini an episode. <laughs> we should look back and see when that stopped. Oh my gosh! I definitely do try to change out our display piece. Yeah. I would like to be in a new long term production facility some point yeah. next year. Well, depending on how the pizzeria works out. <laughs> I know. Pizzeria. <laughs> pizzeria. Lord. Um, the studio smells like pizza right now, but that's a story. Well. Yeah, that, that's, that's a story a, for another time. Oh, you didn't. You just <laughs> oh, mazzed him. You just mazzed him. <laughs> um, I was going to say, so, yeah, just like, like, yeah, just like sort of like a longer term goal or something we can improve on. It doesn't really matter, Lisa, but I think like the, um, the idea of like getting into a, a bigger space is a good one. Yes. Um, we're doing a cool Lego project over the course of the next year. And um, I wanted to make a support group. Because you're in on it, I have your thing, and then Bill's in on it, and Kara and I are in on it, and uh, I want to make a group, and the first person that says, hey, do this thing today, because we're going to do it daily, so we don't forget, somebody's going to forget, so if we make a group chat with just the sole purpose of being like, have you done this yet today? And then mm -hmm. we'll be like, yeah, people are probably mad, because we don't know what we're talking about, but that'll be cool. Yeah. I'm excited to do that. Well, I've got, so we've see, got fun uh, projects. You'll see, you'll see that December 31st of 2020. I know. So. But it's going to be. I know it sounds nearly mean, but I was like, it'd be better than Rise of the Skywalker or the Rise of Skywalker, but no, Rise of the Skywalker every time. Uh, see, okay, Jeremy during, title's not good. Words are hard. <laughs> during our spoiler, I'm surprised he didn't say Rise of the Skywalker. I don't even know if he said the title of the movie. He did. Did he? Mm -hmm. okay. He did in the very beginning. I would like to have a guest on every month. Every month? Once a month. At least once a month, have a guest on. Because a guest on. <laughs> Gosh, it Let's disturbs me to have some guests on. We had Bill, <laughs> if we had Bill for two podcasts or just one podcast? Two. The two. One, one where he just showed up to, I can't oh, even yeah, remember, yeah. he was just randomly here and we're like, get in the couch. Poor Bill. I think, I think one of the girls wanted to watch. And so yeah. they, he just, he was here with them. We're like, ah, sit down, Bill. Yep. So for me, it's definitely like long-term studio. So so how many guests have we had? So we did Bill, Bill twice, twice, Keith twice, Keith, Keith twice, Janae. Janae, yep. I think that's it. And then we have a guest on next week. So okay. six. Six over the course of nine months, eight months? Uh, seven months. Seven months. Well, that's not bad. That almost works out. Yeah. Almost. But it doesn't seem like it, but. Well, and we're going to have to have a, um, Keith said he'd be down to do some guest hosting during your absence. Cool. Yeah. That'd be awesome. I'm down with that. I love having Keith on. And that's a fun thing, too, when I do podcast or when I do, like, the upload, the other portion of them. It's fun because I, I get to list the episode, people who are in the episode. And I want that variety in there where it doesn't always have to be, you know, the core. It's fun to mix it up. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. um, I'd like some permanent guests. So, I'd be so that, that would just be a core person then. I'm sorry. Rotating group of guests. <laughs> no. I want a permanent guest. That means you work here. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not paying. I want interns. <laughs> Uh, I want interns too. Go get my coffee. Call those production assistants. Is that what they're called? I mean, in the biz. PA. I mean, technically, you can be an intern or a production assistant or both, but like, I think we, it'd be better if we called them production assistants because that sounds better than like, I'm an intern. We should fly the person we we're going to go meet up with in California. We should see if he would do a podcast. Luke would be fun to have on as a guest. That, we, we know a lot of really fun, cool people. I mean, we I do. Need, I need to focus on... on It'd be fun to have Travis what, on, on. Yeah, to, uh, totally. Right? Totally. My cousin's husband. He he worked for Google and he works now he works for Facebook. Oh, yeah, got some cool stuff. Why yeah. don't you promote our stuff more, oh, Travis? Right. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> as if he has anything to do with I any know. of that. I right. know. But uh, we're getting some awkward silence. Yeah, no, it's... <laughs> I was just going to say, so do you have any, like, things that you want to, like, try and commit to for the next year? I'd like to be more consistent with cosplay. I oh, no, you've been perfectly consistent because you haven't done any. <laughs> <laughs> You're 100 for 100. I was doing really good on Siri for quite some time. And then but I got to the part of the pants. And now that I'm on the pants, it's like... <sighs> you guys have lights and a camera and the mics now at home. Yep. There's no reason... To not document. He yells at me when I sew down in the in the dining room. I do. 
because she takes up the entire space. It's like my chewing. <laughs> Do you she know who's so taking up the entire space right now? Please, son. <laughs> what do I have down there? Lots of stuff. <laughs> Picture frames, decorations that you haven't used. Uh, we Not see the beginning yet. of the marriage is <laughs> all live on. I, ch- I changed my thing. I want to work on my marriage next year. <laughs> no, in a positive way. I'm trying, I'm trying to fight off the dissolving portion. I want to stop chewing my mouth open. Oh, perfect. I like that. <laughs> That's Jeremy's resolution. <laughs> uh, something that nobody will ever see on the podcast. No, nope. so I'm gonna I'm gonna record Jeremy every single time we eat without him knowing. Just gonna have like a little a little pin camera, and then I'm gonna co- do a collage of the year, showing how many times he chews this mouth. <laughs> how many how many bites do you think you take in a year? I don't know. It's a lot. Like you got like that. Like think of the mileage on your mouth. Yes. Uh, that's why we take panoram- panoramic x-rays so we can make sure your TMJ is good. Which, TMJ is your temporal mandibular joint. TMD is temporal mandibular disorder. If you've got problems with the jazz, TMD, not TMJ. Wow. Rando T-I-L. Like Kara. <laughs> Kara should just have her own dental channel. <laughs> uh, I, people come in all the time like, I've got TMJ. Yeah, we all do, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Kara's like, okay, boomer. <laughs> oh, dang. Okay, so like, I was reading about that because I've never, se- I've, I've heard people saying that, uh-huh. but I haven't seen any of the memes. And Bill says something about doing a meme of that, and I was looking at it. And apparently, which one, boomer or Karen? The boomer. Oh yeah. Thing or whatever. Oh, funny thing about that. Continue. Well, apparently, like, it was so nobody likes like it was so in our age group, we're considered like millennial. Yeah. Right, and they're like nobody likes that. Right. right? But now that there's a phrase for the people that call people like us millennials, they're like, oh, I can't remember who it was, but somebody said this, like, it's like the equivalent of the N-word for old people. It can't be that. And, and, which is completely oh, out of boomer. proportion. Yeah, calling yeah. somebody, yeah, it's like. Yeah, no, I've seen that, and it's like, no, not even close. I'm sorry. You know, so it's like, it's just like, wow. How can, well, like, I just overreact? Like, yeah, it's like, don't call me a millennial in the pejorative sense. Right. Like, if you're just talking about it as an age group, whatever, but oh. like. Saying it's like, oh, millennials are on their phones, or millennials don't want to work, or millennials yeah. right. don't know how to manage. Yeah, it's like had, the boomers destroyed the entire planet. Right. Uh, whatever. I had a patient. Um, he had commented on the wedding picture I have about work, and he's like, "Oh, did you just recently get married?" I was like, "No, nah, that's just the most recent printed picture I have." I was like, "Everything else is on my phone." He was like, "Oh, typical millennial. Everything's on your phone." I was like. I'm sorry that my phone camera is better than your handheld. Okay, Man, your point and shoot. What a ridiculous thing yeah. to be angry about. I know. I just don't like printed photos. Right. I mean, they, they, they're. I mean, they're nice in, in their the own right sense. circumstance. They're cool. Right. Well, yeah, but it's it's more like a decoration thing than right. it's like it's like you take thousands of photos every so often. I, right. I take less photos on my phone than I think anybody else on the planet. Right. I, th- I think I have like nine photos on my camera. Right. Roll. Right. I definitely have way more than like a thousand. Sorry. Um. But it's like, they're not prints. Like, I do get prints, like, when I go and I take, like, photos. Right. But they're for, like, they're, like, display things or whatever. Like, I, I'm not going to have something like that at the office. Right. right. You know, it's just, what a what a wacky thing to be angry about. So then, going back to the boomer thing. So we were out with, to dinner with Mimi and Josh. And uh, Mimi what teaches seventh grade. And she said... She has had to explain to her seventh graders what boomer actually means because her oh, little, they're calling each other. The little 12 year olds will be going around <laughs> and they'll be arguing about something and they'll look at each other and be like, okay, boomer. <laughs> and she's like, okay, 12 year old, let me explain <laughs> something to you. And so she has to tell them what people mean when they say boomer. That's yeah. a funny video waiting to happen. A bunch of kids calling each other boomers. Well, right? it's a funny video. Yeah. It actually is. It you really know. is. Oh, man. Well, like, so then another thing that's funny about that is my uncle's name is Boomer. <laughs> <laughs> the name is Boomer. Yeah. Isn't there a movie with somebody named Boomer? What is it? Is it? Oh gosh, which one? It's like some wilderness movie. Oh, I don't There's know. There's somebody named Boomer. Oh, it's um, Mountain Family Robinson. Swiss Family Robinson. No, not Swiss Family Robinson. There's Swiss Family Robinson, which gets stranded on an island. I think it's Mount. It's it's a family. Oh wait, they the move Swiss out. and Swiss Family Robinson means Swiss Alps. No. No. Oh. 
Swiss Family Robinson oh, gets stranded island. on an island. Oh, I was thinking mountain. No, so the oh, other man. the other family Robinson one is one I grew up with. <laughs> this family moves out to this cabin in the wild, and they they move from like this huge city out into like off the grid, and so they're trying to learn how to live, how to like get their own food and stuff like that. And I swear they meet a guy whose name is Boomer. Wow, that's a heck of a rec- like thing to reckon re- recognize. Or- I totally spaced that until you said somebody's name was actually Boomer. Yeah, well, Our then, nickname is Boomer. Yeah, well, like there, there's a again, it's a nickname, but there's a famous NFL quarterback named Boomer Esiason. I don't so. know football. And but like so, I'm- it's just funny that like you could be like you could say okay, Boomer, it's like to a actual person, and they yes. can't be mad about any other name. Right. All right. Well, that's that is all I have for this okay. episode. Cold cut. Cold, cold cold cut. Cut. No, I'm just saying. I was like, all right. <laughs> we're ram- we're we rambling. We we are need into this rambling. Form. We, okay, we are getting to the point of rambling. We are completely rambling. We're talking about boomers and movies and we're falling apart. So I'm giving us a hard cut. Uh, okay, this hard is it. cut. Sorry, Boom. <laughs> Er. Er. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy no like jokes. <laughs> you know what to do. Take us out. Oh my goodness. Well, if you made it this far into the video, I think your resolution should be to give it a like. And of course, subscribe to us if you're not already. Ring the notification bell if you want to be notified every time we upload a video. It means a lot to us. We really do appreciate it. And comment down below. What you think we should try and do in the next year? I, uh, I guess that if you're this far into it, you've probably seen a couple other videos. Maybe be like, maybe try harder on this because you guys aren't so great. I don't know. Whatever it is. Do you say we're not so- great? What? No, I'm saying that other people <laughs> okay. say we're not great. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? But com- like, or comment whatever you like below as long as it's not spoilers. And thank you guys so much for watching. And of course, may the force be with you. <laughs> <laughs>